Hi, I'm Greg Hale, and I want to talk a few minutes about a 13th, adding a 13th to your music. 13th is a very, very intimidating thing for many of us. We have a hard time building triads, much less chords that go all the way to 13. Remember, a triad is 1, 3, and 5. Well, you can add 7, 9, 11, and 13 um, to those chords. And I want to tell you how to add the 13th today. First of all, if you see a chord that's labeled something like C13, the implication is that chord has a seventh in it. In fact, what you do is you play a dominant chord, okay, so you have a C7, and then you have to find 13. Now, you could also add 9 and 11 as well, but if you see 13, it means it's at least got a 13th in it. Okay, now, how do you find 13? Well, there's a couple of easy ways to do it. First of all, understand that 13 and 6 are the same thing. So if you know what 6 is, then you know what 13 is. Now, I've talked about that before as well in other clips. If you want to find 6, start a scale starting on the first note, the 6 of the chord. So if it's a C chord, start a major scale on C. On C. The 6th note you come to is 6, and it's also 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A is 6. A is also 13. There is a C13 chord. Okay? There's a lot of different ways to play it really cool way it sounds that you can get with a chord that complex, but that's all there is to it. Let's do a more hard, uh, more hard, a more complicated one. Let's do D flat 13. Okay, remember, if you see D flat 13, if you see 13, it implies that there is a seventh in the chord. It's a dominant chord. So we have D, D flat dominant. Now, we just have to add the 13. 13 and 6 are equivalent, so start counting on D flat and start playing a major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. D flat. So there is D flat 13. Okay, makes sense? Um, really, that's all there is to it. Uh, and I know that's not necessarily easy, um, but that'll at least get you to the point where you can understand what a 13th is when you're called upon to add it, when you see it in a lead sheet or something like that.